There's been a lot of talk surrounding Doja Cat and her allegedly partaking in racist behavior. She's been accused of making racist comments in the past, being a part of group chats that are supposedly tied to a racist alt right incels, and of making a racist song. Now, I just want to mention that Doja Cat is biracial. From what I found, she has a white mother and a black father. And since all of this controversy came about, she did offer an apology, saying in it, I'm a black woman, half of my family is black and from South Africa, and I'm very proud of where I come from. Now, this could be a sincere apology, but from what I understand, she never met her father, so it's unclear how she actually knows her black side of the family. And on top of that, I found some questionable comments she's made about being black, but still, much of that is unclear. Now, the group chat that she was in was on Tiny Chat, which is somewhere that appears to be a place incels frequent. Just in case you're wondering what an incel is, it's a term that stands for involuntary celibate. And just to sum it up quickly, that's a term used for people that have trouble with relationships. Now, back to Doja Cat. As far as the specific group chat she was a part of, it's unclear whether or not it was a racist one. I did see that in one of the chats there was a black guy and some others that appeared to be people of color, and I'm sure that there are chat rooms on the site that aren't racist. Now I did hear her say the n-word, and it was the one with the hard er, and since most of the people in the room appeared to be white males, that does seem kinda weird. But let's move on to the song which is called Then Do Nothing. The term Then Do Nothing is often used by racists, making a mockery of black victims of police brutality. It said the term originated around the time the case of Michael Brown's death took place, and it's being said that Doja Cat's song was made as a response to the death of Sandra Bland. Now, in her apology, Doja Cat does address the song, saying, It was in no way tied to anything outside of my own personal experience. It was written in response to people who often use that term to hurt me. I made an attempt to flip its meaning, but recognized that it was a bad decision to use the term in my music. Okay, so to start this off, let's look at the time the song was released. The song released in 2015. Sandra Bland died in July of 2015, and the footage of her arrest surfaced not too long after. Now, I'm just taking a guess here. It could be likely that the term was in heavy usage again by racists at the time, and seeing some of the places Doja Cat frequents, I can imagine her seeing a term a lot more shortly before making a song. Now, the lyrics are confusing and could have many interpretations. A part of the first verse stood out to me where she says, tweeting an Instagram, camera flick bitch who was edited. I can see how this part of the verse could be related to police brutality, since some of the cases of police brutality were caught by phone cameras and went viral on social media. But what follows that part of the song doesn't really build on that idea that she's speaking on that. And also not once in the song does she mention Sandra Bland or the police. So the connection of the song to police brutality is kind of a reach. She also says that the song was a response to people that used the term to hurt her. But I'm not really sure how people would use the term against her since it's used to mock victims of police brutality. Unless she's had this experience. If not, I'm not sure what the connection would be. Really, the only thing offensive about the song is the name. Doja Cat says it was a bad decision to use the term in the music, but I find the focus on that being interesting, seeing how the meaning of the N-word has been flipped in music, and how artists that aren't even black or biracial have used it, and how there's questionable lyrics that could be considered worse than the term didn't do nothing. Doja Cat has spoken on the meaning of the song. Check it out. And I used it in a song, and it was to kind of take back and and fucking just say fuck you to those people. The song, however, I agree. The worst, maybe the worst song in the entire world. Not good. Lyrically, lost. The worst song. The lyrics in the song don't make sense. Um, I see some of the interpretations of the lyrics. A lot of them are wrong. Uh, I can rewrite the lyrics for you guys. I don't know how important that is. Um, but if you need me to, I can. Uh, but that song is in zero ways, in no way connected to police brutality or Sandra Bland. And 
to see something like that, to see a song, my song that I made connected to an, in an innocent black woman's death is one of the most awful rumors that I've ever encountered. Um, I, I don't, I don't see in any way how that's okay to push and create a story like that around a song that, the song that I've made. So should Doja Cat be canceled for all of this? The song was released a while ago, and it's not even clear what the song is about. Now, it could be said that she's grown since then, but some of her questionable comments and activities in these chat rooms are recent. Still, from all this backlash she's received, maybe it will cause her to grow more.